Welcome to part two of the EHR General Setup Webinar. EHR setup is required before beginning a meaningful use or MU reporting period. Configuration of EHR items will determine what options are available when you enter patient data and calculations of percentages in measure reports and clinical quality measures or CQMs. During this presentation, we will go through the provider tasks required to set up EHR in Open Dental. We will be using the steps shown in the provider task section of the EHR setup page on our website. These steps are clinical decision support, which includes clinical decision support rules and CDS permissions, drug interaction checks, e-prescribing, which includes enabling electronic prescriptions in Open Dental, and setting up drug formulary checking in electronic prescriptions. Before we get started, it's important to note that someone on your staff needs to take the lead and own your EHR process. We can explain how to enter EHR data and produce reports, but if you need advanced help from Open Dental, our EHR consulting fee is $100 per hour. As I mentioned, we will be using the EHR setup webpage as our reference. We'll be working in the provider task section, so let's scroll down to that section. The first task in provider list is clinical decision support. Clinical decision support pertains to EHR objective two for EHR modified stage two. So let's take a look at that objective. Clinical decision support rules trigger CDS interventions that provide evidence-based clinical guidance when a user is making a clinical decision. There are two measures for this objective. Providers must satisfy both measures. Measure one requires implementing five clinical decision support interventions for the entire reporting period. And measure two requires enabling and implementing drug to drug and drug to allergy interaction checks for the entire EHR reporting period. Let's look at measure one first. You will need to implement five clinical decision support interventions related to four or more clinical quality measures or high priority health conditions at a relevant point of patient care for the entire reporting period. Clinical decision support rules should be set up by or under the guidance of qualified providers. Let's bring up Open Dental on the screen. So to get to clinical decision support rules, we're going to go to setup from the menu. We'll go to chart and EHR, and then you can just click on the CDS triggers button. The first step is to set CDS permissions that determine who can set up and see interventions. The admin user can always view the CDS permissions, so you can start there if you need to. So click set up here in the upper left corner of this window. And what you'll see here is a list of usernames and then the CDS permissions. Usernames are over here on the left and the CDS permissions are across the top. The top. Let's go through those uh, CDS permissions real briefly. So show CDS. Users with this permission will encounter CDS interventions for allowed categories. If they don't have this permission, they will not see any interventions. Show I, users with this permission will see a clickable info button throughout Open Dental that gives them direct online access to Medline Plus for additional clinical information. Edit CDS, users with this permission can edit permission settings and configure CDS rules. Source, users with this permission can edit a a CDS rules instructions and bibliography. And then we'll scroll over here. And for problem medication, allergy, demographic, labs, and vitals, users with these permissions will encounter uh, CDS interventions based on the criteria. For example, a user with a problem permission will see interventions that are based on problems if they have the show CDS permission set as well. So that was the, the first one that we saw here.
To give a user a permission, just click in the cell. To take it away, you can just click again and that will take it away. So for Dr. Albert here, uh, we can give him the show CDS, show I, edit CDS, source, problems, medication, and we'll scroll over. We'll go ahead and do allergy, and then we'll just skip over to vitals. So what that means is he will encounter CDS interventions based on problems, medications, allergies, and vital signs, and he'll also be able to see the info button and can edit rules and source information. All users who need to work with CDS interventions will need CDS permissions. Users who do not have CDS permissions will not be able to see CDS interventions. Click Save to save and close that setup window. Now we're ready to configure clinical decision support rules or triggers. Clinical decision support rules or CDS triggers determine what conditions will trigger CDS interventions. Conditions that trigger CDS interventions can be problems, medications, allergies, age, gender, vital signs, lab results, or specific codes. Users must have the edit CDS permission to configure the interventions. We're going to create a new intervention based on the example on our website called fluoride varnish for children. So to create a new trigger, you just click on the add button over here. You will enter the description. And then you're going to click the Cardinality drop-down. And this is going to allow you to set what condition the CDS support intervention will be triggered in. And there are four options. The first Cardinality one option is Select 1. And if only one of the conditions will trigger the intervention, that's what you would choose. Select one of each category if one condition from each category must be met. Select two or more if at least two conditions must be met. However, note that this does not work with vital signs, age, or gender. Select all if every condition listed must be met. For, for this particular CDS rule, we're just going to set the cardinality to one. Next, we're going to add the conditions. The buttons for setting conditions for each category are located on the left side of the CDS trigger edit window. Here we have sections for problems, medications, allergies, demographics, lab results, and vital signs. First, we're going to add the problem elevated risk for dental caries. So to do that, we just click problem. And we can choose from our problem list here, in this case, elevated risk for dental caries. And click OK, and that's going to include the SNOMED code as well. So we can also enter an age criteria, so let's do that. So in this case, we want this intervention to show for patients that are less than 18 years of age. So we just enter the less than sign and 18. Click OK. And now we're going to enter the uh, diagnostic or therapeutic or clinical instructions. This information should be provided by a qualified health professional. So we're going to use the information from our online manual. And I'm going to bring that up here. And in this case, the instructions are 2.2% fluoride varnish at least every six months. So let's go ahead and copy that three to six months. We'll just paste that right in here. But you would be typing this in if you were doing this. And for bibliography, we're going to do the same thing. We'll just bring up our resource information that we drew this from. And we're just going to paste that in there. And 
when you're finished, you'll just click OK. That is going to add our fluoride varnish for children CDS trigger or rule into the system. So let's test how this works. We're going to click close and close this. We'll go to a patient. We'll go to their chart module and let's add that problem. Elevated risk for dental caries. And you'll notice right away that the, inter the CDS intervention shows up on the screen. Now, notice also the um, blue info button over here on the left. And that gives you a direct link to Medline Plus where you can find additional clinical information. If we click this, you'll see this info button portal screen will come up. So when we're finished, we can just take note of the intervention, click OK, click OK again, and that will take care of that aspect. Now, per the CMS recommendation, you will need to capture and save one or more dated screenshots of your setup and occurrence of CDS triggers and of interventions as evidence that you have implemented that, the required CDS rules during the reporting period. So you'll want to get screenshots of those items. Let's go back to our Objective 2 web page in the manual. Now for Measure 2, for clinical decision support, this requires enabling and implementing drug-to-drug -drug and drug-to-allergy interaction checks for the entire EHR reporting period. To do this, you will need to set up and implement your prescriptions in Open Dental, which also pertains to EHR Objective 4. We'll discuss e-prescribing in the next section. Note that only electronic prescriptions drug interaction checks can be used to meet the drug interaction check requirements for Objective 2, Measure 2. So in other words, you must use electronic prescriptions to meet the requirements for this measure. An exclusion is available for Measure 2 for a provider who writes less than 100 medication orders during the reporting period. If you know you will write less than 100 prescriptions during the reporting period, thus qualifying for the exclusion, you have two choices. You can still use electronic prescriptions, or you can write paper pre uh, prescriptions in Open Dental. By using paper prescriptions in Open Dental, you will have a record of these, which you can then use to track the number of prescriptions written during the reporting period. See our online manual for information about setting up and writing paper prescriptions using Open Dental. Clinical decision support measures one and two are yes, no measures. So they're not based on uh, percentage calculation. So per the C CMS recommendation, be sure to have dated screenshots of setup and occurrence as evidence that you have implemented the required CDS rules and enabled drug-to-drug -drug and drug-to-allergy interaction checking during the reporting period. So let's go back to our checklist. The next step in the EHR setup checklist is e-prescribing. -pres Let's go to that objective page. And electronic prescriptions is the EHR objective for e-prescribing in the modified stage two objectives. This objective requires that more than 50% of all permissible prescriptions written by the provider are queried for a drug formulary and transmitted electronically. E-prescribing is also required for objective two clinical decision support, just as we just saw a moment ago when we were going over clinical decision support. If you anticipate writing uh, 100 or more prescriptions during the reporting period, you will need to set up comprehensive version of electronic prescriptions in Open Dental. The basic version of, of electronic prescriptions cannot be used for EHR meaningful use. So you'll want to see electronic prescriptions in our online manual, and we'll just go over there for a moment. 
So the costs and other information for using electronic prescriptions are explained on the ERX webpage here. To enable and set up electronic prescriptions, contact our customer support line to schedule an ERX setup appointment with an ERX specialist who will walk you through the process. Identity proofing and credentialing will take approximately one hour to complete and two business days to approve. Drug formulary checks. Once you have enabled electronic prescriptions, you will need to set up drug interaction and drug formulary checks in electronic prescriptions. Let's go back to the setup page. So once again, drug formulary checking is only available in the comprehensive version of ERX. Both drug interaction checking and formulary checking must be enabled for the entire meaningful use reporting period. Please see our EHR webinar, ePrescribing, Drug Interaction Checks, and Formulary Checks for more information on how to set up and use drug formulary checking and drug interaction checking in electronic prescriptions. There is an exclusion for EHR Objective 4 if you write fewer than 100 permissible prescriptions during the reporting period. If you know you will write less than 100 prescriptions during your reporting period and thus qualifying for the measure's exclusion, you have two choices, as we mentioned before. You can still use electronic prescriptions, which is recommended, or you can write paper prescriptions in Open Dental. See our online manual for information about setting up and writing paper prescriptions using Open Dental. Now I'm going to go back to e-prescribing for just a, mo a moment. Note that EHR providers in New York must sign up for the comprehensive version of ERX so that drug interaction checks and formulary checks are enabled when orders are created. Because the state of New York requires that you prescribe electronically, you do not qualify for the e-prescribing exclusion even if you write fewer than 100 prescriptions. Note that electronic prescribing of controlled substances or EPCS is also required in the state of New York. The CMS recommends that you capture and save one or more dated screenshots of formulary checks during the reporting period as supporting documentation. This concludes part two of the EHR general setup webinar. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to hearing from you. For more information, please visit us at www.opendental.com or contact our customer support line at 503-363-5432.